To create a live album, please start a new album in Album TD, as usual, and then add some images. But now you may also add some movies. Drag them to the Pictures tab at bottom. Drag images and movies into the design area to create a new spread. Design the next spreads on the album in the same way you are used to do with Album TT. Simply drag movies and images into the new spreads and then select a new layout. You may also resize and reposition images and movies to, for example, move the black bars at bottom and top of the movie, just like with an image. Use Ctrl or Command in Mac to reposition the, mo the movie or the image and Shift to resize it. Remember that you may add multiple movies to the same spread in the album, not only one. And you may, may mix them with images and with slides. Now we are going to explain how to create a slide. After adding an image to a spread, please click at the small icon, slide icon at the image bar and a new window will open. At this window, add the images to the slideshow you will create. You may add as many images as you want. At the bottom, please select the transition mode. You may fade, fade in and out, create resizings and the slide time per image. You may reorder the images in the slideshow at top by you dragging them. Once finished, close. Once you have finished the design of all the spreads in the album, please select at the main menu Album Export Live Album. You will be prompted to select a target folder and an audio file if you want to add some music or similar. Then click at export and the new files will be placed in the target folder. At this folder you will find an index.html file, which is the main file to open the album. The album will open in your preferred browser and the movies, images and slides will be shown in the spreads. You may mix several movies and slides in the same spread as well as with images. By clicking at a movie, it will open in a bigger window and also in full size. The same is valid for slideshows, which will be open with a dark background. By clicking at any other position in the spread, they will close.